Kind of start earlier on in your career, way before the whole Will Music and True Romeo. It hit me really late, but when it hit me, it hit me hard. Okay. And uh, I was also kind of mad because when I tried to write a song, I couldn't, and I didn't like that at all. Like, what? I should be able to do this. And so I spent the next thirty years trying to figure out how to write good songs. What was it? More of an influence uh, from from school, from others, or was it just like? I want to do it because I think it'd be cool. I got into this band with some friends of mine, uh, about 15 or 16, and they started making me listen to the police a lot and to the Eagles. And all of a sudden, awesome. I was playing other people's songs. Yeah, yep. it was a hilarious band. I was the bass player, but I played the bass on this Steinway piano in our home. That was the bass. Okay. So I sang <laughs> and I played the bass. And uh, we had a drummer and a guitar player, and that was it. And uh, you know, at some point, I started thinking about you know, I'd like to write a song. This is cool. These songs are cool. Could I write some songs for our band? Sure. And like I said, it, it didn't initially go very well for me. I was, I was like, usually when I want to write, the words just kind of flow. But this song thing is sticking me somehow. Right. You know, so cool. What was the I name to... of that band, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> this is, this well, is always we... fun to ask this question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we settled on the band on the name Close Enough. Because if it wasn't your favorite band, then it was close enough. That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't have to ask the next question to find out why close enough. Right. That's fantastic. That's really clever. Us. I yeah, love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. 